guys welcome back to liquid art today we're going to be painting this painting it's a little bit different it's called vitamin c and i hope it gives you guys a little bit more confidence when painting so guys remember all of this is step by step you can pop this video on pause at any point but here's what you're going to need so i've got my canvas board here in the middle it's a funny color mine don't worry about it uh, a white one will work perfectly we're going to paint over everything anyway We've then got our paint brushes, we've got a big one, a medium one and a small one, some kitchen towel, a pencil and some tape. We're not actually going to use the tape, I just want a circular shape, so something round will work perfectly. We've then got our water and then over here on our palette I've covered it in cling film for easy cleaning and we've got the acrylic colours, white, pink, yellow, red and black. So we just need a little bit. So we're going to draw this out to start with. So I'm just going to take my tape over here and I'm just going to draw a circle around it in the corner. We just want a circular shape. We're going to draw a few circles off of that. I'm just drawing one around here like so. Don't worry if it overlaps. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. These lemons and stuff won't be perfect anyway. So for this one here I've just drawn slightly around part of one and then I moved it just slightly just to make kind of a bigger circle and we don't want it to be a perfect circle either. And these are just going to overlap each other, so I'm going to do one coming around here. So just freehanding this. You can do really small ones or big ones, it's up to you guys. I'm going to overlap so we've got a semicircle one up here. Another one just in this gap. So these can go anywhere you like, I'm just doing a few odd circles for now. When you see this and we've got the um, prompt in front of us, you'll see where I'm going with these. So some are a little bit smaller than others, some are bigger, um, and we just want to make sure that they're rounded more than anything. And for this one, we want to have a bit more of the skin on this fruit. So I want you to just make sure that the skin is a little bit bigger. Just circle it around and then I'll just do a little bit of one in this gap here. Nice. So we've got this already. So for the next bit, what I want you guys to do is I want you to just fill in each of these circles. So I've highlighted them here for you guys. What I want you to do, the best way of doing them is painting them in a white colour or a very, very light yellow, a very light kind of pinky peach colour would be really good. So that's a mixture of yellow, red, pink and a lot of white. Um, so yeah, so all I want you guys to do is just fill these in. They work best in the white colours like this one up here. So we're just going to fill this area in. And this is going to make it so much easier when we do the actual segments of the fruit. We're still going to see that white just behind it slightly and it really helps. So yeah, so just fill all of these in. This middle one I'm going to make a little bit whiter in a second. I'm just covering up a mistake I made earlier. <laughs> So you don't want them all to be exactly the same colour, but you just want to make sure there's a lot of white in these, they work best that way. So this one's just going to be straight white, just a really clean colour. Don't worry about if your background's really dark or anything, uh, just go over it with another layer once it's dried.
So all of these are really pastel colours, they're all super light, they've all got white mixed into them. Um, you can change these if you want to, yellows, the really light yellows and the white just work best. And don't worry about these being super neat and tidy or anything either they just need to show the right shape and this is going to be the background of each color we're going to go over this in a second with the outside of our fruits in these really nice bright colors and then we've got the inside segments as well so please don't worry if you think they're really messy or it looks very odd at this point it's meant to be like that So now we've done the inside of the fruits, we're now going to go and do the outside to the peel of our fruits. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your smallest brush and we're going to use like a light yellow first for one of our lemons. So we're just going to use some yellow and some white and mix it together. And as we know using our previous videos, white is just going to make this more opaque and that's what we want. We want to make this stand out. So we're going to make it more opaque so it's a really nice bold colour. So I just want you guys to just mix some yellow and some white together and you're just going to paint it around this edge of this one here. So just follow that circle that we drew on all the way around. You only want kind of the thickness of this brush. You don't want to do too much for this one, just around the edge. So this is the bit where you decide which ones you want which colour as well. So you could do some limes in here if you want, you could have a really nice light green if you wanted. Uh, you can have some really bright oranges, I'm going to do sort of a few of these like a pink colour as well. Um, so just go where you want with this one as well, just do whatever. So now for the next bit we're going to take some yellow. I'm going to mix in a little bit of red to make a nice orange. So this one's more of an orangey colour and we're just again just painting around the edge of this one. Remember if you need to use a little bit more water that's absolutely fine, it'll just make it flow a little bit better. But just make sure it's not so runny that it takes forever to dry and it starts to run down your canvas as well which we don't want to happen. So now that my paintbrush, I've just given it a really good wash and all I'm doing with a really clean brush is I'm just going along this line in one direction just to divide up and blend together between this peel colour and the inside of our fruit. Now on this one I've done a lighter orange colour and notice I haven't drawn around the whole thing. Where that line cuts over it in the centre I've just left it as that. Now we're going to go for a bit of a peachy pink colour. So I've mixed some yellow and some pink together. I'm just going to gently go around this little one here. Again, remember you can't see all of the outside of this one. And again, I'm just blending between the yellow bit, the white bit that we did before, and these colours. So now I've got quite a ready orange going on for this one.
and then wash your brush give it a little bit of a dry and just make sure that you're going around each one bit more of an orange going on for this one just make sure you keep changing these colors up you don't want them all the same color unless you were doing every single one orange or all of them lemons you could do um but just keep changing the colors and they'll work really well together Um, remember I said with this one that our peel bit would be bigger. You just want to fill this bit in now. We are going to add colours to it later on. Make sure you add some white in there as well just to thicken up that paint and make it more opaque. Just to cover up a little bit better. nice so we've peeled, done the pills really nicely on this piece now just make sure you blend them into each other as well so you just want to make sure you've blended that peel color in with the inside of the white bit that we've just already drawn and then if you need to make sure that you go over any insides like this one here with a little bit more white as we're now going to go on to doing the segments after this
So we're just going back in with that more of a darker pink color around the edge of these segments. And now we're gonna mix more of a yellow color and we're gonna create the segments for this one. So again, you start with the center and then you're gonna build these segments going outwards. It's just a nice golden yellow color for now. Now I'm going to take more of a deeper orange into this yellow and we're just going to add a few bits of texture to these segments now. So keeping it more towards the end of each of the segments, so we've done a bit around the centre and more towards the very tip. And then we're just going to go around the peel again with more of an orange this time. So I'm just bright, making it a little bit brighter as it's quite dark before. So we're going in with more of a yellowy orange this time. I'm also just filled out a little bit of where you could only see a bit of a peel of an orange as well. Nice, and then we're going back in with the white as we go around on this one. Uh, you'll notice on this, I kind of went a little bit overboard with the white at about this point here. Try not to do that, I don't know why that happened, I just put a little bit too much on it. Um, and just to correct it, I just added a little bit more yellow on top. So if you do that with any of these other lip bits, just make sure you go back to the previous colour and you just add it on top of it and it will sort it out. So now for our next fruit, you're going to take some red, some yellow and mix it together and a tiny bit of white this time. So it's more red than anything with this one. And what we're going to do is some really big segments on this one here. So this one doesn't really have a centre, I just want you to make some really big segments. So now we've done the big segments, I just want you to do a tiny little bit uh, around here. So these are the ones you can't really see the segments of and a little square up here. It just shows that the orange is still continuing on although we can't see it completely. And now we're going to go back in with a little bit of white. Just brush these little bits here. Nice, so now we're going to take some white and we're just going to go around this centre fruit that we did to begin with. So I just want to go around where it should be white, just a tiny little bit more to really make the yellows pop out. By going in with a white a little bit better, it will just really make these yellows pop and that's what we want with this lemon. And 
lovely. So now guys, we're going to use a little bit of black, a little bit of red, and a little bit of pink this time. A really bold, kind of maroon -y colour for this one. And now we're going to do some really big segments here. And just fill this in. And we're going to do the exact same on this fruit down here as well. So now we're just going to take a little bit of white into each of these, exactly like we've previously done. We're just adding a few little bits down here. So now we're just doing a little bit more of the peel on this fruit here. So I've just made a little bit more of an orange, I've really brightened it up and then I'm going to add a little bit more yellow and a little bit more white in a second. So good wash with that brush, a little bit of white and you're just going to build it up on here. Lovely. I'm just going back to this orange over here, just adding a few little bits of white in, which I forgot to do previously. And a little bit of yellow as well, I thought worked really well for this one. Lovely. Now, really good wash with that paintbrush for me, guys. We're nearly there, we've only got a few more left to do. So I'm just going to take some yellow and some white and mix it together. I'm just going to build up on this lemon a little bit. It was really annoying me that this part, like the white part of this fruit looked really wide. So I've just taken a little bit more yellow just to thicken one bit out. So a little bit more of a yellowy orange colour now. We're just going to go around this orange here. So we're just building up these segments. Just filling them in. And then we're just going to take a little bit of white to this one. So a little bit of an orangey colour for this one. Start with the centre and then just draw each segment. And 
and then just colour each one of them in. Lovely, now we're going in with a bit of a darker red, just around the edges. This feels so repetitive me saying, but literally this painting is just doing the exact same thing, just with different colours. I think this painting just has a really nice effect to it, I think it'd look great in a kitchen. Or behind some gin, I feel like would look amazing. <laughs> Lovely. And I'm just going to go around with a bit more of that ready colour just around the peel for this one. Nice. Just adding that white in again. And I've just made a little bit more of an orange on this one, just towards the centre of each segment. Now I'm going to mix a little bit of pink and red together. And we're just going to create the centre here for this one and draw each segment. I really love the composition of this one. It's pretty simple, actually. We're just changing each one, all the different colours. So again, we're just going to do the red bit for this little one down here. And then we're just going to take that lighter white colour into a few sections in a second. A little one of orange down here. I'm just going to do a few little segments for this. So a few little bits of white in these segments here. And we're just going to do over these red ones now. So guys, you've done really well with this painting. I really hope you've enjoyed it. It's so simple, but I think this one has just worked out really well. And I want to show you guys that you can paint. You just need the right instruction. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like and share it and share with us your paintings. We'd love to see how you did. So thank you guys so much for painting with us. Don't forget to sign your painting. And this has been Liquid Art. I hope to see you again soon. And I really hope you enjoyed this one.